Hey guys, Iconic Pill here, and today I'm coming to you with this gorgeous look. It is a fluffy feather bang. Fluffy feather bang, fluffy feather bang, fluffy feather bang. I just want to see if I can say it. <laughs> yeah, so um, just section off your bangs and pin that. And I have a lot of new girls, so what I want to do is do my double pon I'm sorry, my double ponytail method. And that is just a ponytail in the middle. You want to add some gel to that for a little security because you don't want to puff up. And once I do that, I proceed to gelling the outer parts together. Also, I touch all those new growth parts that I don't want it to look very hard and coarse once I put gel on it just to smooth it out a little I don't go excessive and go over it a hundred times I just do it once or twice and then that's it so you want to gel up the rest of the hair around your first ponytail now you're making one ponytail and I find this to be easy on the edges also that method the double ponytail so now I'm pinning and I'm using um, two bundles of some old Brazilian hair I had um, what's the sense of buying hair when you buy all this hair to do weaves and stuff right <laughs> recycle recycle ladies wash them treat them like great hair bag them up put them away and then reuse them so let's start on our bangs. So you just want to part them like any old good old bang. Um, put your hair in. And what I normally do is I put a lot of hair. Like sometimes I put like a half a pack. And if I really want to be bad, like if I do a full, like a what we call like a Chinese bang, I'll put a pack of hair. Don't judge me. I love a good bang, okay? So you want to add your tracks, and after I add my tracks, what I always like to do is, I always like to um, kind of flat iron before I cut. I don't know, it's just the thing. I think it gives the hair a better cut and a better lay. And some people will mousse, but not in this particular instance. Maybe if I was doing like a Chinese bang, I would probably mousse it. And it could already see it's taking shape. And that's just from one pass over with the ironing, then cutting it. And it already gave me that. And that's the effect I'm going for. And to get this effect, so you just want to give it like a tight curl. Um, if you're a beginner, I would suggest using a barrel curler at first. Um, then you could graduate to a uh, flat iron. But try with a barrel curl and no fish hooks, ladies. And fish hooks are just that dentation um, from not going full circumference with the barrel iron. You don't want that. That's not cute, okay? So practice, practice, practice. Like, share, and subscribe, ladies. I love you guys for watching. More videos. I promise I'll put up a video every single week. Thanks for watching.